Alexander Ovechkin has scored in the neighborhood of 800 goals in his legendary career, and many of them were jaw droppers. But his best goal ever? It came all the way back in his rookie season, with hockey's GOAT looking on in amazement. Alex Ovechkin is in the midst of writing the later chapters in his storied career. The Great Eight is 37 years old and is still scoring goals at an outrageous clip. He's been a top prospect, a rookie sensation, an all-star, an MVP, an international superstar, and a Stanley Cup champion. With a Stanley Cup champion! The numbers speak for themselves. He entered his 18th NHL season with 780 goals, 114 behind Wayne Gretzky's all-time record. He has a record nine Rocket Richard trophies and is tied for the most 50 goal seasons. He's been able to do it first and foremost thanks to his singularly great one-timer. Ovechkin has steadily climbed the goal-scoring chart largely by establishing his office atop the left face-off circle, then unleashing countless missiles past helpless goaltenders. In fact, since 2016, Ovi leads the league in one-timer goals, 104, and goals from the left circle, 106. He's also a longtime power play maestro who immediately led the league in goals with a man advantage in his first three seasons. As he's aged, he's evolved and raised his five-on-five game. Even as scoring across the league trended downward and Ovechkin's body got older, the goals kept coming. He scored 50 goals in his age 36 season. And of course, there was the magical 2018 run through the playoffs, when Ovi and the Capitals shed years of heartbreak and doubts to bring the Stanley Cup to Washington. That solidified Ovechkin's status as a winner, in addition to a prolific goal scorer. But we're here to talk about goals. And even Wayne Gretzky himself recently said that it's not a matter of if, but when Ovi will surpass him as the all-time leading goal scorer in NHL history. So, which one of the nearly 800 was the best? For a player who scored more than almost any human in hockey history, it's surprisingly easy to pinpoint Ovi's best goal ever. It was January 16, 2006 a seemingly ordinary game between two middling to downright bad teams, the Capitals and Coyotes. But it was also a convergence of two transcendent hockey figures, foreshadowing what now seems to be another fateful meeting in the record books nearly two decades later. The great one was coaching the Coyotes, and 20-year-old number one draft pick Alex Ovechkin was about halfway through his rookie season. That rookie year started off with a bang when he broke the glass checking Radislav Suchi into the boards just 40 seconds into his very first NHL shift. He also scored two goals that day and, well, never stopped scoring after that. Entering the game in Phoenix, Ovechkin had scored 12 goals in his past 12 games, including his first NHL hat-trick in the previous game. He'd eventually end the year with 52 goals third most by a rookie in NHL history, and one of them was an absolute all-timer. With eight minutes left in the third period, and the Caps up 5-1, thanks in part to an earlier Ovechkin strike, a Coyotes defenseman mishandled the puck just outside the offensive zone, allowing Ovechkin to collect it at center ice and charge ahead. And, well, just watch. Alexander Ovechkin curl and drag to the back end. Everyone in the arena, Gretzky and Ovechkin included, was left watching the scoreboard in disbelief, trying to figure out what they had just witnessed. We were in awe. It was something so unique and so special that, you know, when you see it happen the first time, it's one of those things you say, I, I don't believe what I just saw. Arizona defenseman Paul Mara had Ovi cut off and then entirely taken off of his skates. Goalie Brian Boucher was sprawling and cutting down the angle. Yet Ovechkin, laying on his back, 
momentum carrying him away from the goal with one hand on his stick on his backhand without looking at the net somehow hooked a perfect shot the goal defied physics it defied belief and it was just the beginning for the young star it was immediately clear to those in attendance that they had witnessed something simply sensational austin matthews now one of the best goal scorers in the world in his own right but then just an eight-year-old fan in the arena that night said that everyone in the stands couldn't wrap their heads around what just happened. Like, I still get chills from it, honestly, thinking about it. I still remember it, like, pretty vividly. And everybody in the crowd, it was just, like, almost, like, silent. Like, nobody could believe what just happened. After the game, Gretzky said the goal was pretty sweet. And Ovechkin called it the best goal he'd ever scored. A classic that'll never get old, I think, to watch. The most amazing goal that I had ever seen. You couldn't replicate that, like, even if you tried. But the legend of the goal has only grown as Ovechkin has steadily climbed the list of greatest goal scorers the sport has ever seen. Like the catch by Dwight Clark and the shot by Michael Jordan. It has been immortalized simply as the goal. Tribute videos are made on meaningful anniversaries. Even Boucher humbly wished Ovi a happy anniversary on Twitter two years ago. Ovechkin is still regularly asked to explain just how he did it, or to actually demonstrate it. The puck was bouncing. I picked the puck, skate, do like this, felt. It's right in the net. Okay, okay, we can't get out of here without at least mentioning some of the other spectacular goals the grade eight has netted. Let's go rapid fire. First, the athletic feats. We've got to start in 2009 when Ovi scored the other lying down goal as he got taken down and still beat Carey Price from the ice. How about from his knees, 2015 against the Rangers? Ovi speeds into the zone, flies between two defenders, and roofs it past Henrik Lundqvist. There are very few players in the history of this league that could ever do something like that with that kind of power, that kind of speed, and that kind of finish. With apologies to King Henrik, Ovi sure scored a lot of pretty goals against the Rangers. In 2010, Ovechkin dragged the puck through the legs of Michael Roosevelt, took him for a ride, and then beat Lundqvist for his 500th career point. And in 2009, Ovechkin hopped past one Ranger, beat another with a massive toe drag, and then netted a diving backhander past King Henrik again. And then, of course, there are the goals that meant a little more. The 15 goals and two game-winning goals on the road to the 2018 Stanley Cup. The diving backhander in Game 3 of the Cup Final. The one-timer in the clinching Game 5. There are, of course, hundreds more, many of which were electrifying. But that rookie miracle that gave us a glimpse of what was to come? That's my pick for Ovi's best goal ever.